on the road on our Walmart to Walmart tours, we don't get much entertainment. But when we do, we're watching Trucker Josh. You should too. Flatbed Trucking, Sam Rides. Tell them all about it, Sam. Tell them, they're on your road. Tell them, tell them, Sam. Tell them how it is. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It's another new day. We're here in Mooseman, Saskatchewan. About ready to get this day started. I'm gonna walk the weasel. Then we're gonna go deliver some of these crates. Hoping that we can get them all delivered today. I kind of doubt it though. We'll probably have to finish tomorrow, but uh, I have no idea what's in them. But I got three on the back, one of my first delivery just down the road. Okie dokie there, let's try to clean this window off just a little bit at least for you. Put in some new washer fluid in there yesterday. We'll stop and do a thorough cleaning of it later. For now, I gotta get to my customer. They want their crate, their box of mystery, whatever is inside there. And I'm gonna bring it to them. I'm the man for the job. They're uh, 30 kilometers from here, so uh, what? what is that, 20 miles? Not too shabby. What's squeaking? Hey, no squeaking in my truck. What's squeaking? Let's see if we can get on the highway here. Maybe they'll stop us and then we'll start. Yeah, there we go. Just have to start moving. The truck just doesn't want to sit still, neither do I. Ourselves onto Trans Canada westbound. Another day, another page. Make of it what you will. Wearing the sleeveless shirts again because uh, it's just too hot to wear any kind of sleeves. Where do I gotta turn? I gotta turn here? No. Two kilometers, gotta turn right. Okay. So our first delivery, we're dropping three of these mysterious crates. Turn right on eight. Yeah, we're dropping these crates on Highway 8. In Rokenville, just north of Mooseman, Saskatchewan. So we got stops in Rokenville, Yorkton, Emerald Park, Moose Jaw, and Prince Albert. I believe, no, Humboldt and Prince Albert, that's six drops. It would be super nice to get them all done today, but uh, I got my doubts about that. We'll get as many done as we can. Rokenville, Saskatchewan. Just a little town. I think I've been here before. I've delivered to this place before, I'm pretty sure. I only got a truck wash here. Wish I had time. I really use one, as you can see on the windshield there. No time, though. Gotta go, go, go. Where are you? Where are you? This is the town. This is the whole town. This is what I live for. I love these small towns. This is actually a pretty big town. Well, actually, I don't live in a town. I live in a cluster of people. Not even. I live in the middle of nowhere. I love it. Now, where is our... Oh, there it is. Way out there. Here we go. Wants to be the post office or something here. It's got a flag on top of it. Where are we going? Oh, there, okay. I see, I see, I see. He's going for it. He wasn't sure if he'd be able to grab that top one with his bobcat here, but looks like he's figured it out.
Can he even see where he's going? <laughs> oh, he's pretty good at that. He knows exactly where he's going. Okay. Well, that's that. So, three down. A bunch to go. Let's get his paperwork signed. Let's get on the road to Yorkton. All right, we just gotta get these straps back on here. I got my strap roller right here. We're gonna roll them up real quick and uh, hit the road. Yorkton is waiting. The only reason I wear gloves all the time is because I don't want my steering wheel to get dirty. All right. Get my hands dirty, everything in my truck gets dirty, then everything I touch gets dirty. It's just more clean. And I don't know about you guys, but I, I I don't like cleaning. I like everything to be clean, but I don't like the cleaning part. So I try to keep it all clean to begin with. So, gloves. Just roll these. Oh, I guess I gotta tighten this thing. Okay. My fancy strap or roller upper singer. It's uh, the official name of it. If I know how to use it. There we go. It rolls up the strap for me. And I just toss it back over. we go. I actually really quite enjoy delivering crates like this. Super simple, super easy, super quick. You can be in and out of here in like 15 minutes. Hold this baby up. Here we go. Toss her over here. And off to Yorkton. 125 kilometers away, about 70 miles. I think they're just taking one crate. I'm meeting a guy in uh, Humboldt, I think. He needs some of my equipment. He needs to borrow some of my equipment. Which is fine because I won't need it this week as long as I get it replaced or get it back before I need it. But uh, he's picking up a load out here that needs chains. And he doesn't have any chains on him because he's driving a, a temporary truck. And uh, the parent left truck doesn't have chains. I don't know the story, but that's the story I was given. So I'm going to meet up with him, hand him my chains, and then when I get back to the yard, I'll get them replaced. I think he needs a couple of my binders too. And I don't need them because I'm just picking up this load of lumber uh, after I'm done with these crates and going home for the weekend and leaving uh, Monday morning with lumber to Wisconsin. I just need chains before I go to Wisconsin because I don't know what load I'll get on the backhaul. I don't know what kind of reload I'll get. So I might need them. Emerald Park, Saskatchewan. It's right by Regina, actually. I didn't realize that it was like, right here. Wait, do I gotta turn here? Apparently I gotta turn here. Where is it? I'm trying to figure out where I'm supposed to deliver this to. 
around the corner here somewhere. Talk to me, GPS. Talk to me. Come on. Don't be afraid. No, no talking. Fine. We got held up at our last delivery in Yorkton a little bit. They weren't, uh, they didn't want the machine or the crate or whatever. So, uh, Right onto South Plains Road West, then you will end at your destination. They ended up taking it. It just took an hour and a half out of my day. Now I'm running kind of late. I got to get this delivery done really quick. Pardon me here, Mr. GM. Got to get my trailer around here. Thank you. Or Miss GM, pardon me. Ah, oh, here it is off to the left at the uh, Massey Ferguson dealer. Okay. Got to get this done quick because we got to get to Moose Jaw before end of the day yet. I guess I just pull right in or what? Pull right in there? I'm just gonna pull right on in. Hopefully I don't gotta back out. Look at that tractor, that's actually pretty cool. Fent tractors, little German tractors, right? German tractors. I recognize all this equipment from my farm simulator game. <laughs> I feel like I'm in the know. I know what that is. I know what that is. Yeah, I own one of those. I own one of those too. Combine up there. I borrow one like that all the time. I don't own one yet. It's very expensive. There it is in real life. A Fent Combine. Well, that sure didn't take long. Still got quite a bit on here though. Like, and all I've got is Moose Jaw, uh, Humboldt, and Prince Albert left. Yeah, I just got one left at the back here now. That Fent Combine right there. That's a nice, expensive piece of machinery. Believe me, I know. I'm a farmer. All my time off. Got two pig barns already. Yep. For those of you who don't know, I'm addicted to this game called Farm Simulator 2019. So I've got quite a bit left on here yet. Let's make sure that we didn't miss any. I would hate to have to backtrack. So Moose Jaw is taking one. I know we went through this yesterday, but Moose Jaw is taking one. Humboldt is taking three, and the rest is going to Prince Albert. Prince Albert's taking a whole bunch of them. I'm hoping to get, well, we will get two Humboldt today. I'm hoping to be able to get unloaded. Uh, they're open till 5 o'clock. It's 2 o'clock now. No, we're not going to make it today. I'll unload Humboldt in the morning. And then Prince Albert. Then we rush over to Meadow Lake. Throw some sticks on the trailer. Tie them down. And go home. I have a family reunion on my dad's side on Sunday. Uh, it's the Geese Park Reunion 2019. And we have family members. My uncles from Paraguay and South America are going to be there. My uncles from Ontario are going to be there. My uncles from BC. Well, technically my uncle in BC, Uncle Isaac, he moved to Manitoba now. So technically they're from Manitoba. But uh, they're going to be there. Everybody's going to be there. And I think there's people from other places yet too. I don't know. The furthest one is uh, my uncle from Paraguay. Uh, he'll be there. So I, I really would like to be there to see everybody. Sort of be a part of the... But it's my dad's family, so it's him and his siblings, but it'd be nice to see my cousins and my aunts and uncles that I hardly ever see. There's so many people. There's over 200 people on that side of my family. Uh, so I don't know everybody. You go to the family reunion, it's sort of just a gathering of strangers. Because my, my dad's family, my grandma and grandpa, I call them my Oma and my Opa, had 17 children. One woman. One man. 17 children. Now that's a Mennonite family. Don't get no more Mennonite than this. I don't know what that was. That wasn't like a salute or anything. Mennonite salute. What would a Mennonite salute be? I don't know either, Diesel. I'm not really Mennonite. I'm just Mennonite by name. I don't really follow their culture, obviously. But uh, that is my heritage. So we need to get out of here starting to look at me wondering why I haven't left yet. So 
So it's going to be a big gathering. We rented a community center. <laughs> How many of you can say that about your family? We're having a family reunion, we had to rent a community center. We used to rent the arena in Niverville every Christmas, I remember that. Just one family. There's a lot of us, we're everywhere. We're everywhere. My mom's side of the family had six siblings as well. So six siblings on one side, 17 siblings on the other side. I got a lot of family. Well, I can officially take the steel toes off. Work is done for today. We're here in Moose Jaw, just delivered this uh, last crate of the day. Tomorrow morning, we've got three crates that are going to Humboldt, Saskatchewan. Uh, about three hours from here. So I'll get there this evening yet. That's where I'm supposed to meet the other driver and give him some equipment uh, to use for a bit. I better get my equipment back though. And then an hour and a half. So we'll deliver that 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. Hour and a half down the road is Prince Albert, Saskatchewan. And we got 13 crates. The rest of the trailer is going there. So I called them now just to make sure. Like, I got 13. I'm not just dropping off one box. I got 13 big crates for you, just so you know. So they made a special little note of it. So they'll make sure that they got people there ready to unload me and space to put the freight. Uh, just double checking. I like to double check when it's a big order like that. And, you know, I don't want to show up there and be like, hey and surprise them with that much. That's, well, it's rude, first of all. And second of all, you might have to sit there waiting to get unloaded, or they might have to clear some room for your freight. They might have to, you know, they might be busy. They might be doing other things. They might have other trucks scheduled to be in the yard when you get there, so you gotta wait somewhere else. It's, it's just best just to plan ahead. Sometimes these small towns you can get away with just dropping off one or two crates. Just letting them know like shortly in advance, but when it's a big order like that, you, you don't want to take chances. Okay, so uh, I got my GPS all set up here. I'm going to be going up north from Moose Draw to Chamberlain and then straight up, what is that? Highway 2. Highway 2, you already saw it on the map, right? I'm sure I included it. What highway is it? Yeah, it's Highway 2, straight north towards Humboldt. And uh, I'll have to look on Google Earth here, see if they got any truck stops in Humboldt. I'm assuming they do. Every small town usually has like a co-op or something. We'll figure out where we're gonna park tonight. And uh, yeah, guess I don't need to have this on anymore either. Take it off, Tracker Josh. Work's done for the day. I still gotta drive a bit, but at least the deliveries are done. Well, let's see how busy the Flying J here is in Moose Jaw. This is a very tiny lot. They need a much bigger place. <laughs> or a second Flying J or something. This is always really busy here. And this guy, I don't know why he's parked here, uh, but okay. You want to park here? Fine. That's cool. You're going to tip your load over, though. Don't think he cares. All right, I'm gonna get some fuel because we're gonna be going through the back country through for the rest of today and tomorrow. I don't wanna to have to worry about fuel. Grab us a coffee inside, a little snack maybe, and I'm gonna have supper once I get to Humble. I'm gonna find a nice restaurant or something. I'm gonna go out and have supper. There we go. Beautiful. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay. Let's do this. Diesel, how you feeling? How about we park somewhere around here and let you out once I'm done feeling, all right? Hold on a few minutes, okay? You just wait. Get my shoes on here. Get my driving shoes. Yeah. Got too many pairs of shoes in here. I got my driving shoes, which are pretty much like Crocs. I've got my steel toes, which I use for working. And I got my flip flops, which I use for when I go out and do things away from the truck and stuff and it's too hot. Gonna need a shoe rack. And through this bug filled windshield, we find ourselves rolling into the famous or the infamous town of Humboldt, Saskatchewan.
a nice little town. They're kind of famous around the country for bad reasons. For those of you who don't know the story, uh, yikes, these roads are bad. Yikes. There was a uh, their minor hockey league, I believe it was their their hockey team, Humboldt Broncos. Uh, they were on a. I guess on their way to or from a, a, some kind of hockey game, and their bus was struck by a semi. Meters, turn left onto Fifth Avenue. Uh, hit by a semi who blew a stop sign and ended up uh, killing a lot of the kids. So uh, that was national news. The driver uh, actually just got sentenced to eight years in prison here in Canada, and uh, after he gets out, he faces deport deportation. Uh, back to India. So I, I guess that's part of his punishment. Did I want to turn here or did I want to go through here? In 400 meters, turn left onto Saskatchewan 5 West. Oh no, no, okay, good. I want to turn onto the 5. Look at this nice little town, eh? Can you see through all the bugs? I guess I should have done this first, eh? The next road, at the lights there, okay. I don't know if I've ever been to this town. Just heard about it a lot. Well maintained, very nice, very nice. So we're just gonna go to bed here, uh, find a place to sleep somewhere. And uh, tomorrow, we'll be unloading here, first thing in the morning. And this is where we ended up spending the night. Beside a little field here. Out the weasel keeping me safe, guarding the truck, good boy. Buy a pet value on a Boston pizza. Makes me a happy man good place to sleep so thanks for hanging out everybody it was a fun day tomorrow which is today for me a whole lot more fun planned hope you're gonna be there hit that subscribe button if you haven't already a lot of you who watch aren't actually subscribed to my youtube channel go to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button hit the bell beside it that way you get a notification when i release a video because there's sort of at different times uh my internet has been a little bit uh sketchy here on the road lately and my videos haven't been getting up at a consistent time i'd really like to get back to that but since it's not at that right now if you do have that bell activated that way whenever it does get released at least you get a notification and if you're busy at that time you'll be like well cool there's a new video from trucker josh i'll watch it later or hey you can drop everything you're doing and watch it right then it's up to you the power is in your hands then but if you don't have that bell activated, then you have no idea. You might miss a whole episode. You didn't know I uploaded, so up to you. But I would recommend it. So I'll talk to you tomorrow. We're going to have another vlog then. Oh, I need to wake myself up, get a coffee, and go deliver the rest of these crates. Hi, I'm Josh from Blaine, Minnesota, and you're watching Trucker Josh on YouTube. Hope you enjoy a TJV vlog.